<laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah, you're just adding a bunch of downforce to the front end. You're not going to pick up straightaway speed and stuff like you would at a bigger track. So you're really just going to make it freer getting in and across the middle. I'm doing one more qualifying round, then I'm going to go race that up. How the fuck is he messing with paint when he's in bed? He's got it. He's got a paint shaker in his bed.
Uh, 10 to 1. Positive 6, like a run everywhere. That doesn't do anything. That's just a driver preference, and this has no suspension or no change in the car handling. It's just what feels good to you. Sweet. When's that going to be here? If it's 84 or higher, I'm definitely going to have to go up on gear in the straight setup. Add it. Go up. Just because slow race pace. Oh, Tommy rolled out of bed. That was close. What's up? Tommy rolls out of bed, puts a big dip in, he's ready to roll. Just ran a 484 on lap 30 of this run.
of those uh, orange bars on there. I think it looks a little bit better. 30 laps to get on those tires, sir. Uh, this is lap 38 right here. It's pretty rough. I got 41 now. I'm going to look at him. Ninety sixes across the right front. 94, 94, 95, the right rear, 98 across the left front and the left rear. So that shows that I don't have enough wedge in the car because the right front or the right rear is wearing more than the right front. So I need to go up and cross. Ten four. Tommy's running high, wide, and handsome. I need about 10 laps to get going. That's all that coming.
I'll send you what I got. I'm gonna. I'll add a little bit of wedge shit and I'll send it to you then. Uh, not a whole lot. I lowered back into the car a little bit. I th nope, actually this uh, I don't have it back in lowered. Um, nah, it's just small tweaks. Every time I got away from it a whole lot, I ended up slowing down. Stand by. Alright, I shared it. It's going to drive off for your first five, seven laps, and it's going to feel funky getting in the corner because the front end is dragging the tr racetrack, kind of like it was at South Boston, but it'll be pretty good on the long run. I think better than what you guys had. Your other stuff was a rocket ship. At least the one I got sent was a rocket ship, you know, the first five, ten laps, and it got tighter and shit coming off. This will start feeling tight, but then it'll free up once the air pressures come up. Yeah, I raised the left front pressure a little bit to get a little bit more off the track than what the other one was. I even used some uh, that MoTeC data acquisition to look what it was doing, and they don't have the corner heights right. I don't think on this car to get real good data, but it's definitely a higher off the track than what it was. I'm running in high 20s, low 30s. I think you're ever driving the corners and missing. You got to get right down on the bottom. Yeah, I think you're carrying too much corner speed. It's causing that push off. feels slow when you're doing it but it's faster on the stopwatch your one and two was perfect there you actually gained on me coming off two <laughs> and Tommy kills me I think from Fox saying uh, tonight in Arizona, Trump hinted at a uh, Sheriff Joe uh, pardon. Uh, all the headlines said was that he hinted at it during the rally.
Well, hell, he's got to get caught up with Obama's like 3,000 pardons that he did. Every gangbanger and drug dealer that had a federal case got pardoned. Freaking bullshit. I think I added like a 40 lap race or something like that. Sorry. How long a run do you have going there? I added more gear and it's definitely slowed me down. I'm going back to 510.
Päätämme. Yeah, I slowed down about 10th. I went up to a 5.18. It slowed me down. I think once, the, once these motors get over a certain RPM, they lay over. Most of these classes run a two barrel, so it just runs out of. I'd run what you feel comfortable with. I mean, if your other one's faster, go with it. I think I can hustle enough to where I won't get completely run over. But hell, I can't even make it a lap without tearing the fence down.
34, it's not not too bad. Drive it feels good. Yeah, mine's definitely not not that cup of tea. Yeah, it's going to be a war tomorrow night if we have as many cars. Yeah, most of them were had the Jackrabbit setups where they were, you know, fast, real fast to start, but took a shit like lap 50. That was my fault. I missed the corner and stopped in the middle. Go ahead. Once I get my next Bitcoin mining dump, I think I'm going to get the Oculus. Yeah, I'd actually prefer triples, but I just don't have room for them where I'm at right now. Yeah, it's kind of hard to beat the price right now. You dead? <laughs> no, but that's, a, that's what I was afraid was going to happen. Is, I like yours, but it, 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 it was one of those things that uh, you know, it just gets freer and freer. I don't know if that's a fuel burning off or uh, I think it's just the right rear getting hot and we're working because. Yeah, I mean, part of it's fuel low burn off, but you pick up nose weight too, which helps it get in and feel better. So, but we're not burning that much fuel, you know, that's weird. You're pulling and fix your shit. You take tires if you want. I'm going to take tires. Never 
remember during the race we can't take we can't take tires but we can come in and make an adjustment that wedge adjustment so if you're too <clears throat> if you're too loose go towards a positive oh we're both i guess we can't both go lap down Yeah, you want to go uh, negative if you're too tight, positive if you're too loose. Come on up here and pass me because I want to run behind you. Get loose. Do you have damage? No, I, I used you up there getting in the corner. <laughs> Yeah, you might be driving it in, like turn one, you're driving in a couple car lengths deeper than what I am, and that might just be overwhelming the front end once the load gets on it. I'm staying on the brake pretty long through one and two to woe it up because it feels bad but it's faster if that makes any sense like I'm woeing it down all the way through the center of the corner that way I can get it pointed center off to make a good exit that's where I sucked like my first time I raced down here you know I just want to lean on the tires and I'd, I use my shit up bad
Yeah, you definitely have to be pinned right down on the white line to be fast here. Yeah, like right there, even though you dipped on the apron, that's right where you need to be. You want to pit? Get fixed? No. I gotta get to bed here pretty soon. Either way, I just. And the tires are hot, so. <laughs> they really are now. Yeah, I think you're actually too tight. It's making it loose because it looks like you're getting pushy loose off the corner, like where you have too much wheel in it, so you give it throttle to turn, then you get free. There you go. Yeah, I think a lot of it's the uh, tire pressures were way, way up. Like, those are what I, my qualifying setup is what the pressures are at. That's the starting pressures on yours. But we shall see. Oh, yeah.
Yeah, I'm running 50% tape. Yep. I just looked, uh, I'm watching a replay of us turning around. Yeah, I'm all... Looks like you have no tape. Yeah, because that'd be giving away setup information, I guess, even though you can see it in real life. Oh yeah, that looks good.